Welcome back to Tabletop Theater. Los's Angels, Episode 2. Dirty Angels. I don't know why to make it so long. <laughs> I think I should clarify a scene because uh, there's some... I think I should clarify uh, last week's beginning. I think I'll do it again with a quick flashback. <sighs> Columbia, January 13th, 2024 again. Los as a little boy, but this time just from her, his perspective. You can tell it's like a, a dream phase memory thing. But this time again, the door is open. A group of uh, um, armed to the death militia, mostly Hispanic, probably from, with thick Colombian accents. Okay. Where is it? where is it? He told us it'd be here, and then he, they see the Los. Oh, hello, little boy. Los, right? And and it's a mixture of translation and English. Don't this that? Where is where is where is the treasure? Where is the safe? The other two behind them say, come on. We, and he, Los isn't talking. He's like, come on, say something. He turns back to the guys. He's not saying anything. I thought you said that this was going to be easy. Look. This is Carlos Reyes's empire. It's finally falling. This is our one chance. The drug lord is no more. This little boy is the only thing standing out our way. Yes, but you said there'd be treasure millions. He's worth trillions. It's got to be here. And then the, uh, another uh, uh, guy comes into the room and starts speaking in English now. That boy is the last remaining living member of the Reyes cartel. With him gone, we can take over. Find out what, he need, what we need to find out and then kill him. And then in Spanish, the guy starts, uh, Carlitos, Carlitos, come on. You could tell us what's going on. Where does your papi keep the, the, his, his money, his treasure, the bank codes. Come on, we're not going to hurt you. And in the background, the, the guy that came in is giving orders. He's like, here, let me give this a try. And, he's, and he starts pulling out like, uh, he, 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 uh, he starts um, moving forward and he steps on this, on their little rabbit. What's this? The heck happened here? He starts looking at straight at the screen again from Los's perspective. Little boy, what do you have there in your hand? Wait. Wait. No. 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 And whoosh, camera cuts out again. And it's. He wakes Los now as an adult wakes up. Now it's around the cavern, and next to him is Laura. Mijito, did you have that night the nightmares again? They're getting stronger now that I'm here. Now that I'm here, they're getting stronger. We're back in the cave. You know, how is uh, Mama? That axe wound hit her pretty hard, but she's a strong woman. She will survive. And um, Los, waking up, picks up like this axe. Scar, that bitch. I'm going to do things to her that sh I'm going to kill her. And you can see like, like his pure anger and and that scene like throws it against like throws it against the wall 
How quick are we to how quickly are we to move out? Laura answers, soon, soon me soon. Our arrival was scattered. We are still bringing in people. We lost about 70, we only kept about 70% of the men so far I've reported in. What about the supplies? We lost some of that as well. We only have, he starts going through the numbers and he starts looking out into like, uh, he gets up and starts looking over the cave and into like the, the crowd of people and soldiers like gathering up and getting, and getting things prepared. Nothing's gonna stop us. We'll wait a little bit longer for the, everybody else to unite. And then tonight, we'll move out. Where is everybody else? We need every last person here. And as he's wondering that, fade out to where everybody else is. Let's go with. By the way, Carlos. This, uh, yes. When you said um, the guy who was speaking English, I can get him to talk, and and it looked like you were about to pull out something. I said, and he pulls out a bag of flaming hot Cheetos. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. There we go. So, um, yeah. Let me not cheat a poop of Cheetos. All right. <laughs> Cut to you guys. Um, trekking. Still trekking with radar through the snowy uh, background uh, trees. It's cold, but you've got some gear. You've got things. Um, you're on your way headed north, northeast. North, northeast. And Q is starting to recognize... Uh, the route, but we'll cut to you guys to see. It's been, I don't know, four hours, five hours since you guys started moving, uh, leaving this last episode. Let's cut to you guys and see what you guys are up to. We'll start with with Q, who's mid bite. How about we not start with Q? Yeah, How about this? Huh? <laughs> That, that, that's a good thing. Let's like not start with you. <laughs> Pistolero. What are going through? What are you? What's? What are you thinking? What's going on with you right now? Probably should have used chili, not pepper. <laughs> Carl. I am filled with regret. <laughs> Go ahead, you're good. filled with regret for using chili instead of pepper, not using chili on the hydras. Carl. Uh, I'm thinking it was a lot warmer in LA and Colombia. Maybe, maybe coming here wasn't, eh, whatever. I'm a tough guy. I can handle it. Roll me a constitution check to see how well you're doing. Uh, okay. You are. Even though it's bitter cold and you're, uh, you've been, I mean, you're a, you're a bodybuilder too, right? I mean, you're a big buff. Mm -hmm. um, you've done that hot cold training. It's not affecting you the least. Dominique. And Q, what's going on with you? For Dominique, she's like watching Radar to be sure he's he's copacetic because he was losing it during the battle. So, yeah. but she's watching him and also, I know I'm right. We're going in the right direction. So, that's... Roll me an insight doing. check. Roll me an insight check on Radar. Twenty-one. Oh, Twenty-one. Um, he's radar is a kind of like a very nerdy young man. Glasses. 
he looks a lot younger than it is, almost in his teens, even though you pretty sure he's way older than that. But he's both at first he was like fascinated and looking at out the floor and fauna. And then now he's being more trepidatious and being very careful. With that high in with that high insight, you could tell that he's getting he thought that this would be one way and is trying to adjust to the new way of thinking like shit this is way more dangerous than i signed up for i don't know any of this i'm just a nerd that knows tech and he and he is holding on to like the gear that he has with him um almost as protection like uh to give him comfort like a uh one of those old snuggy woogie uh security blankets blanket. you know yeah Q, you're in the lead. You know where you're going. What's going on with you? What are your thoughts? Uh, Q's waiting to take bets on who's going to drop in the party first, and I know it's not going to be Radar. <laughs> <laughs> well, as you're leading and as you're moving forward, and uh, uh, that's that's good because you know what you're doing. And how how prepared are these? Sturdies look to you for the for the realities of Taldore. They're completely out of their league. They they they, they re literally. You guys look lo look like a bunch of five or seven year olds just learning how to fight from the dairy farm. <laughs> and on that note, as you're thinking this, you you've. You come across, you're like still scouting ahead and, and looking back and, you know, making sure that they're not doing something stupid. And you know what traps to look out for. Why don't you roll me, while we're moving there, why don't you roll me a survival check or history check with advantage? Because, uh, to see what's up, if something interesting happens. Oof. Yeah, All right. Works. <laughs> the history you know your way back you know which pitfalls to avoid and you know that these are very dangerous woods and mountain area there's sure signs to look out for that you know about but this path that you're taking is going close to the close road and avoiding almost everything except you get to an overlook on the main road and between you and where you need to go with this main road um there's an opportunity that high of a roll gets you with a 20 you see a cart in the distance coming along the road it's probably going to take another five ten minutes to get here or to get close by but you think this cart might be some good transportation. And then as soon as like you spot it, everybody else comes down and you tell everybody, dude, like, hey, uh, watch out, look over there. There's a there's a there's a cart in the in the distance coming. We'll cut I'm, to you guys. I'm going to um take a closer look at the cart without getting any closer to the cart. Your glasses, little LEDs, start boom, doom, 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 turning on. Little no, 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 no. Point of view. <laughs> Point of view. It starts a little zoom in. The camera starts zooming in. Uh, why don't you roll me perception with advantage because of this? 17. 17. As you're looking, your keen eyesight, enhanced by your glasses, um, camera zooms in and reveals. It looks to be a, uh, a cart with supplies. And um, a cart with supplies. And there's uh, two people uh, that you could see visually on the top of on the top driving uh, two um, 
two horses carrying like this buggy cart with supplies and things and it's covered so there might be somebody inside but it looks like some sort of person transporting um supplies towards us or away from us towards they okay. at this distance you'll guesstimate they'll arrive in maybe 10 minutes 10 15 minutes um because you're you guys are at like at a at a ridge that you can oversee and you could see the path that it's going to take so at any point you could you could you could maybe intercept it if you if you choose to or to avoid it completely so it's heading away from our destination towards us the pathway it's it's not that it's coming it's not that it's towards your destination it's that no, this no. pathway intersects it so they're kind of going uh, toward okay. it and then eventually the road will lead you know that uh she tells you this road is probably coming from somewhere and is leading towards whitestone the opposite way but you could use this to get uh, to your okay. destination sooner okay everyone there's unexpected items on the on the cart. I mean, there's supplies on the cart, and there's two people driving it, and um, it's being hauled by two horses. Okay, there. Right. I'm telling them anyway. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's all good. That's all good. I didn't mean to interrupt you. Yeah, sorry. And uh, uh, we might be able to get uh, with the cart. We might be able to get to the. Uh, our destination faster but uh so who's it up for an ambush why do an ambush uh why because not do an ambush fun. well that um, too um again uno dos tres aren't from here how do you not know if that's the property of los if it is you the can... property of Los, then we can take it. We'll bring it back to Los anyway. And we kill his man. So you want to die? Yeah, seems like a fair trade. I'm with Pistolero on this, yeah. So you They're guys not... signed up to piss off our and boss? Groggy, if it isn't the property of Los, we can make it the property of Los. Yes. <laughs> See, if it is if it is losses men and they lose, they were bad men anyway. Not worth keeping I, around. Again, biting the hand that feeds you here is a bad idea. You're not on dirt anymore. If they were we? losses men, they would be going to Los. They're How do you on not a know different not road. Going? Uh -uh. Everything here works differently. You want to be with the big boys? You got to play like the big boys. So they could be in disguise right now on their way. All right, I will go and ask. Or. And Pistolero system. starts heading down the road. Roll me a stealth or, real quick, Pistoliero, because I want to see if you, you do without nobody noticing. While you guys are still arguing, I think this, I, while you guys are still arguing, I think it'd be great if, if you start noticing that Pistoliero is literally walking towards it and just in a minute or so we'll, we'll, we'll be able to talk to them. Yeah, because he didn't want to wait. <laughs> Yeah. See, there were other options. He didn't want to wait. <laughs> oh, my so, God. So this is so going to turn into something I don't want to turn into. So. Wonderful. Pistolero, as you're, as you're, 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 you're giving your concerns about this could be Los's men in disguise and Carl's saying, like, but... They're carrying supplies. They're obviously just a merchant. They're like, you don't even know what merchants look like. You turn and look, and they're like, where's Pistoliero? You look down, and he's, hey, 
Hey, I'm in the middle of the road. Just pistolero. Bonjour, mes amis. <laughs> Point of view. Cart. Horses. Stop. Camera slowly moves up to reveal. Man, woman, simple folks, caravan. Um, they hear your voice, and they and they they they, they do this one more time to what? Bonjour, mes amis. Que passe? <clears throat> How many languages are you gonna mix together? We oui. yeah. <laughs> Qu'est-ce que c'est que l'heure? <laughs> um, I'm sorry. We, uh, what are you saying? We don't understand you. Ah, Americans, oui. <laughs> what are you doing out there in the middle of the road? I'm here to ascertain uh, who do you work for. We? Oui? We, oui, indeed. Uh, we're like merchants. We're on our way to Whitestone to drop off some stuff. Do you need a lift to Whitestone? Yeah, could do it. We. Oui. We'll hop on in then. Um, Pistolero goes ahead and, and hops on, hops onto the cart. Oh. It is a very petite. Uh, you, from your point of view, you could see uh, clearly now. These are simple Taldori forks. Their clothing are very much strange and weird, almost like if you were going into a. You've seen like Renaissance fairs and shit like that. Oh. They're very much wearing what you would wear at a Renaissance fair. Um, yeah. You could tell that they're. Uh, it's here, and It's odd that they're. Speaking English oh. perfectly. Uh, With the American goods, accent. <laughs> there's goods and stuff in uh, up in the cart that you could see, and um, as you're just like looking around and talking to them, we'll cut to Q, Carl, and Dominic. Dominique. Dominique. What did I say, Dominic? Not Dominic. I, I haven't changed my sex. Dominique. Sorry. <laughs> Q, Carl, and Dominique. Uh, guys, um, uh, Pistoliero just hopped onto the cart with them. And they're coming this way. Q's still doing this. What the hell is that, Q? One and zero. <laughs> I don't understand. I don't understand either. The one and zero? One for me, zero for him. What? I still don't understand. You don't. Again, he might be on the back of that cart. I don't trust the hand that feeds me half the time, but at this point, if he gets hurt, it's all on him. I see. Radar's peeps, um, like, um, shouldn't we like uh go with them? Like seems fine. We could all get a like a ride or something. Uh, um Sure. It's going in the wrong direction, but sure. Is it going in the wrong direction of where I it, think it should be going? It's white heading stone towards Whitestone. Yeah, Whitestone is south of us. Oh, here's your no, path, no. and here's what this path is doing. It's going to go do this. So they're like right here, and eventually they'll hit that same where you guys are looking, overlooking at, but the road eventually will start heading south. But right now it's going east and west. And, you know, so, but eventually, like most roads, they never just go in one direction. They eventually like do an S curve or they curve out. So you know that right now, you it will intersect where you guys are at. And now in exactly 10, well, less, five, less than five minutes, because by the time Pistoliero went out there and talked to them, 
So it'll come nearby and you know it's going to go towards Whitestone. What do you want to do? I don't want to go towards Whitestone. I'd hate to party and lose Pistoliero. I don't want to mm. lose Pistoliero, but I don't want to divide the party. Because you know what happens when you divide the party. Yeah. Radar dies. <laughs> Radar has not died yet. Leave him alone. No, but if we just split the party, he'll die. Those were very important three letters in that sentence. Three letters. Uh, by the way, if we oh. stop the car and get him off to go our way, then we have a bit of an issue with these merchants. So we're back to the uh, ambush plan? We're not going to ambush. Why? Because again, you don't know who they serve. Uh, they serve Whitestone, it seems. No. They're merchants that are on they're the way to Whitestone. Yeah. They, they're merchants. You don't know who they serve. They could serve Los, which is our our benefactor. They could be serving, and all of a sudden you hear Q rambling off names that you guys have no freaking clue. for. Well, uh, let's see. You said, say, eight names. Well, only yeah. one of those is Los. So there's only a 12.75 or 125 percent chance that he serves low. So what's the point? The odds are always in our favor. Or I'm quoting other movies now. Well, like, um, let's let's just. I mean, there's a lot of us. We could overpower them. Let's just go over and, and see what's what's going on. Does anybody have a business card? Huh? Does anybody have a business have card? Business on cards in in this. They're not from dirt. Either way, you know the secret way. Um, if you do this, you know what the one and zero thing? You mean this? <laughs> no, yeah. If you if you yeah. do, yeah. <laughs> if you do, Lose. Well, that's too obvious. <laughs> this, which is like L O S. I know, I know, I know. But I mean, that's kind of like you know the hand gestures that it's like simple and easy to do. Like if you just like show this anywhere on your body. Um, it's kind of like a secret hand symbol to show that you guys are part of the low, low group. But again, so, she, she was trying to keep you alive, and you're not helping her. What do you want to do, Q? Do you want to go down there or ignore them or what? It seems to be like you're scared of doing something, scared of this uh... caravan. What do you really want to do? Well, I now have to go rescue one of the party because if he gets caught, we got more dogs on our hands that we don't, we want. He's not sticking to the plan, so no. Let's go down there then, or, I mean, that's that's basically what it's, I think it looks like. What's con consensus group is happening? So we well, let's, let's cut move. to. Let's cut to back in the road with Pistoliero. First off, I'm going to I'm going to leave this to uh he's right along and they're just talking so like you don't uh where are you from? Eh, uh, I came from Loire. Never been there. Is it nice? Not anymore. We got uh, burned down a few years ago. Oh man, sorry to hear that. It's been happening a lot around here too. Yeah, Bunch of like robbers and thieves out and out here in the woods. You got to be careful. Yeah, we oui. a year. Many nasty people sit around. <laughs> and on that, cut to Carl, Q, and Dominic. You wanna? How do you want to confront this? Surprise, stealth. Uh, Dude, or just like, hey, here we are. I want to see the back. What's in in the back of? Roll me of as your as your as your as you guys have been setting up and knowing. Roll me a perception. Any uh, anybody else can help with this if you need. Sure, I'm good at perception. There you 20. go. Twenty. Twenty. Um. There's bundles and crates. Uh, it looks to be blankets. Uh, it seems to be like, uh, there's crates and bundles and blankets. 
there is about I don't know. It, there wouldn't. It seems to be like it's crammed up, and spaces at, at, at weird. But it, it, you don't see any like fruits, because right now it's it's winter time and they're transporting, and you don't see anything that's like obvious armaments, or armed, you know, things like that. What's in the crates? They're covered, man. Hmm. What's in the box? Who knows? I think that, I think that was in her mind. I think I think I'm going to actually get into the back and actually open it because it's I'm... a it's a, they're I mean they're moving it's a moving caravan it's that's a whole thing that you would have to do to get unnoticed and I mean you can't just be like oh I want to you know so uh, how by, would... by the by the way you said caravan do you mean just a cart or just is there like Okay, okay. Because a caravan would be a whole bunch of them, right? No, sorry, it's just one. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, but yeah, okay. they're they're moving, so they have horses. Being on a, a cart, they're gonna, you know, they're not gonna notice if somebody actually gets on the back because I know when I was working on a farm, uh, I never noticed oh, when my. Uh, is is it now? Is this part of the plan that Carl and Q are are, are into, or? No, I'm just I'm I'm curious. We're we're splitting the party. It seems like five Three ways. Different ways. I don't know what radar is doing. That's your intent. Roll me a stealth. Yeah. I mean, well, that's your intent, and that's fine. Yeah. Carl and, and Q, what what are you thinking? <laughs> yeah, no stealth there. It's like, hello, here I am. <laughs> Somebody's trying to sneak a ride on the back. You and Carl, what were you thinking? What was your plan? Uh, get out in front of the cart and stop it. Well, close enough as Pistoleros having this conversation about, oh, yeah, sorry to hear that. And then, uh, you know, there's bad people out. And then Dominique, like, starts, like, like, and, like, moving out. And Pistoleros says, like them, like her. Like that one. <laughs> <clears throat> what? And then, no, and then, no and then, I'm just curious. Like, What's in the crates? From the, the left crates? and to the right comes out Carl and Q. Mm -hmm. So, um, Carl, Q, and Dominic flank this this cart that has stopped, and you see Pistoliero sitting between a uh, Taldori man and a Taldori woman. They, like I described them, Renaissance first style clothing. Uh, and you hear in plain English, common English, um, like, what's up? Is this like a robbery? We don't want any trouble. Uh, Q is showing the symbol for Los as she speaks. Uh, technically, you have one of our partners on your back of your wagon. Uh, no, Dominic didn't make it to the back. She was starting. She, her, she her stealth was eight, so she just started moving towards to the road, and she was called out by Pistoliero. So, but uh, they. So, do you want to rephrase that, or I or are you was... talking about Pistoliero? He's still the arrow. I'm talking about him. He's more, he's part of our party. I'm sitting in the uh, front. But I'm doing Los's symbol on my body as I'm walking up. He's not um they have no recognition of it whatsoever. You could you okay. could tell immediately that they have no recognition, like and they both of them like they look around and they're like, What do you mean? And then they both turn and look at Pistoliero. There's nobody here, miss. What are you talking about? At that point, Pistolera pushes the man from the carriage down into the ground. Rome. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Done and done. Immedi uh, on that, he pushes him out and he... Uh, what? And the, the woman like... Huh? Huh? Point, 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 pointing his hand cannon towards the lady. Roll me an intimidation check with advantage. 
17. <clears throat> she like um <laughs> she uh gets off off of the cart and like like she's like huh, no and she's like you can have everything just don't just don't hurt us and she like starts as Carl and Dominic and Q are approaching and the dude is just like backing up slowly um that's a great intimidation check what what next cut to you guys we have the acquired the vehicle and we may now proceed with it good plan might as well take them with merci us merci for the distraction <laughs> i wouldn't um, want to take can... them with us no no it's a just take the car please let's let's go and you know yeah. they, he starts like going and he starts clutching like the the woman and they're like holding each other they were nice to me let them go yeah just let us go go we'll, we'll be fine <laughs> Take whatever you want. Take the car. Take everything. It's not worth it. Okay. We'll get through this. Just be. All right. What do you got? Let's go. Hop, in, hop into the back of the cart. Uh, radar. Uh, makes room. Jumps in as well. Starts making room. Yeah. Come on, guys. Let's let's go. I do not understand what the problem was. <laughs> you and Dominic. He throws at least five uh, five gold towards the couple. Or getting in the back. And then get out. In the back. And then they they immediately scoop it and, and like run run away uh, as quick. They don't even turn to look at you. They they just flee. You have a cart. Yeah. Yay! What what's in the crates? Um, roll me. Roll me. Uh, I I investigations. I mean, I'm sitting in the back next to a crate, so I've been wanting to know what's in the crate. Roll me, investigate, Dominic, either roll me with investigation with um, advantage or Carl and Dominic roll with investigation. What do you, how do you guys want to do this? Uh, you can roll with advantage. There you go. Good thing you had advantage. Good thing you had advantage. You would you would have said what crates? <laughs> they would have been already all sold goods, but you know, it would have. Well, it's already with the four. It's thirteen's thirteen's a decent number. Thirteen and above is a decent number. Um, it's simple merchandise. You see some odds goods, um, stuff that you would find at the rent fair like bowls and crafts and ceramics fully made things um there's as well as smoked and dried and wrapped foods like fruits and breads and meats and smoked goods to eat I am so cheap, last... cheap crystal this and copper awesome. uh jewelry i pull out the food um and they you do find a um I don't know, like uh, a box, a small box uh, that's locked as well near in the crates. But yeah, there's food and supply. Nothing really useful for people like you with your adventures, except that there is um, more warm clothing, um, lots of clothing to be sold. So there um, you can disguise yourselves as needed. I want to. I want to try and pick the lock. Carl, yes, yes, and Carl. Um, that's exactly what I was about to say. I have thieves' tools. <laughs> but you guys want to work on this together? Probably be super simple. Sure. Okay. Do I do? Oh, you've never done this before. There's a. a there's uh... supposed to be a thing. Um. You can click on. I'm going to try this. Uh, I click on thieves' tools, and it asks me for an attribute. And I go dexterity. to dexterity, and then I go submit. Does that actually do anything? Yes. Yes, that's exactly that's exactly how it works. Perfect. You got it, Carl. Yeah. 
So as you're as you're both looking at it, you're you're fumbling for your like you're fumbling for your thief tools and something to like not break it open. And Carl, big buff man, delicately, delicately pops it open. <laughs> um, there's some coins in there. Um, there's about there's a lot of copper coinage. There's a lot of copper coinage and a lot of, of a lot of, a few silver coinage and one gold in there. So it would probably be the equivalent of like the five three gold, gold, I just said. Yeah, three gold in miscellaneous coinage. Oh, I'll buy it off of you with the Andre Tuller. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh. Oh. So, so, so literally, you, you just it? gave. <laughs> So you just paid for all their life work. Mm, well, the goods are probably worth more than that, but you know. Yeah. This is the petty change cash. This is this is what they've had so far. So yeah, this is and, and there's lots of new clothing for your bag. Leave my bag alone <laughs> as she oh, yanks her holding bag right next to herself. All yeah. right. So you guys have a cart with that. You know that you could take this up ahead, that you could take this through a different side pathway that Q knows that will take us to our destination uh, well in advance of nighttime now. It's boogie. And Tell me, it's you want to try some of the foods? You want to spread it? You want to have, uh, you, I mean, you had some breakfast, but that was like four or five hours ago. I mean, it's lunch and food I'm time. I'm hungry. Yeah. Um, yeah. You, op you open it up, and as I said, there's a lot of um, dried bread. It's like a dried rolled bread, and it's filled with both meats. Some of them are filled with meats, like baked into it. Other ones are filled with like candies. They're, if you've ever had um, tamales, yeah, tamales. It's like a Tal'Dorei version of, ta of a tamale. Well, some filled with meat, some filled with like fruits and sweetness. They, but this bread doesn't spoil. It, it spoils a long, long time. It takes a long time to spoil. There's that, um, there's dried jerky. Um, and there's a bottle of wine. There's a couple of wines. Yeah, vine. <laughs> You're driving, you can't have the wine. <laughs> yeah, you can't. I don't give a fuck. This is France. You can drink wine and drive. You're not driving the horses. Well, don't yes, feed the she horses made, the wine, she made then. point. Okay. I'm, yeah, I'm not driving the horses, so I can drink. <laughs> okay. Just don't give the wine to the horses. Ah. Why would you deny me good time? <laughs> we want to stay on the road. No, I don't. So, we want to stay on the road. You've never draw, uh, driven a cart drunk yet. One for the road. One for the road? No, no, One don't for feed the road. road. <laughs> One for the horse? So... Yeah, all right. Now, the rest of the journey goes smooth. Do you want to have a fight now or fight later? Let's see how smooth it goes. Unfortunately, it's another history or survival check, but this time, I mean, it's with advantage. You know the way. I have to give you advantage on it. I'd have to roll really badly for something bad to happen. So oh, I hit the button. Yeah. Good thing you have advantage. <laughs> <sighs> All right. Any any um any cool wow. little adventures that happen on the way to your destination at the the entrance to the secret lair. Uh, Q is making um, little uh, paperwork or documents for the 
all four of them because she doesn't think they have them. <laughs> oh, she's forging paperwork, which you know yes. will be useful. A pistolera is sitting at, at, the, at the front uh, with, uh, with a cigarette uh, at the end of a long pipe. You know, the French style of the long cigarette holder and the cigarette on top. Yeah. I don't have a problem. I can be playing cards in the back. Mon dieu. When I was young, the land was full of the bebes. Full of the pe peppers? The bebes. Babies? Yeah. Oui. They would throw the car around the free game. <laughs> All right. So, oh, there it is. This is what I was looking for. The background. Uh, give me one second. All right. So, um, the day moves forward. Eventually, you start reaching. Why don't you show that background real quick to everybody, uh, to the audience? Because I think it's badass. You you come across, no, no. you come across, um this the entrance to where your destination is uh it's a a, a slack uh portion of the um of the mountain where it's been cut away and just a stone is is out is shaped up in like a, a like a skull just as as on screen with a little bit of water still passing through stripping by and and leia yeah, we have reached the lair of the phantom. The kingdom of the crystal skull. No, no. Uh, the temple of doom. That was it. The temple of doom. Um, skull rock. My, you... The pistol lair does not zinc. The doom guy has a temple. And then a uh, little... Um, He's more about slaying things. Uh, radar. Radar says... Like, wow, wow, so like, wow, that's fucking badass. Look how metal that is. Whoa. I think it's rock. Understand, man, by Metallica shouldn't be playing in your head, Radar. Um, Why not? They're like my favorite brand, band. We're in, we're in trouble, guys. For some reason, Scar, Narissa, and Armalad are here. Uh, no. <laughs> at, the, at the bottom of the map. Oh, no, yeah, yeah. actually, as, as you start approaching, then the that. <laughs> hey, I like to reuse stuff. Go ahead. Uh, we're not. We're not going to get. We're not going to get into a fight right now. Let's go ahead and uh, transition <laughs> back into non-fight mode. <laughs> I just wanted this as a background to show people. Anyways, uh, but as you're as you're exactly. approaching this from a distance, you can see the skull shape, and uh, uh, there we go. <laughs> the um, give me one second. There's a few people uh, there waiting. You know, <clears throat> rough and gruff soldiers, uh, soldiers of fortune from dirt. Uh, they're uh, waiting to greet you, and there's a couple of others like still like milling and coming in from different coming in from different areas bonjour mes amis hey what's up yeah he just arrived from colombia yeah you're one of the few there a few of us got scared um we got a couple search party looking out um go ahead and head on in we'll be having uh we'll be having like a meet um Los will be addressing everybody at midnight. Got a few, uh, more than a few hours of kill if you need. Ah. That's a nice cart you got there. Any good shit in there? We? Oui? That's yeah, exciting. Uh, cl clothing merchants. There's there is clothing. Here. There is all sorts of fancy thing you want to see. Oh, uh, fancy thing. Like anything useful? Yeah, we got the bulls and pants and jewelry. <laughs> I don't care about shit like that. I'm talking like guns, weapons, explosions, yeah. food, booze. Uh, again? No, no, no booze. We're not. Clothing. Again. Clothing. Roll me a percent. You guys left dirt? 
Roll me a, uh, I got you, but a pistolero and, or anybody who wants, roll me a, uh, what's that thing, a uh, line? Deception. Deception. Deception, thank you. I don't know how to, I don't know how to DM. What are these things? All right. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> there is no booze at all. <laughs> it's very good at this. There is no booze. No, 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 at all. All right. Well, like, uh, just park your shit over there, and, or go stuff your stuff over there, and uh, go on inside and do if you if you want. Uh, from there, he starts like he starts seeing like, oh shit, here comes some more. Uh, he, oh, he hears a. Hey, this is um. This is Delta One. This is Delta One uh, calling in. We found an, we found another group. Out the southeast, southeast. We're uh, going there. Uh, we could do, it in the, and it's like it turns down the radio. Like, okay, it looks like we found another group of stragglers coming down. I'm gonna go help them out. Is help yourselves or whatever you need. And he starts uh, like gearing up. He's got he's well armed. Him and a couple of people around. Like, hey, let's go. Well, he did say take whatever I need, so I'm gonna take his pistol. <laughs> well, um, you want to take his pistol? Yes, from his belt. I'm gonna go with during this, and because uh, I'm gonna give you advantage of this, just because I want the natural twenty to happen. <laughs> this entire time that he was talking and walkie-talkie, barely visible in the background. Like you have to watch this on two or three rewatches to even know that it's there, but you could barely see like your hand, unclip it and like, and 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 just take it completely. But because of the action was all over here, the audience would not have picked up until after he leaves, and you're like, well, that was easy. I have now the two pistol. Dos, dos pistol. Um... Q's gonna go with them going, do you guys know your way around here? Oh, uh, we could use a guide. Okay, I'm helping. Perfect. If she's going, uh, I'm going. It's gonna be boring here anyway. <laughs> I guess we found ourselves another job. We don't... They're well, just we should leave radar there. behind, though. Yeah, and and right, I was like, um, it's perfect. As as they, t we don't here. We're not actually going to go on an adventure there, but they're they're going to go recover off screen. You have a few hours to do it, to explore, check around. They go out looking for a oh, okay. group. Carl, Dominic, do you want to do or Pistolet? Do you want to do something else? Yeah. Sure. Uh around looking at places inside i mean uh well q heads off q heads off to go help the others i mean we're here at our destination they're gonna be fine now you think but yeah, you got but other yeah. people to babysit <laughs> pistolero is there just like comedically just moving around looking at stuff touching things there's weapons there's racks people people inside are moving and they're unpacking crates and there's like moving like M4s, M16s, um, assault rifle, assault rifle, boxes of grenades, you know, boxes of grenades, electronics. Um, and as soon as like somebody like starts packing up the, starts unpacking the electronics, oh, uh, uh, radar says, hey, 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 hey guys, uh, hang on, watch out with that, be careful, oh, wait, 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 let me help you with that. And uh, he, he goes over to there, um, there is food to be had. Let me describe the interior of here. It's both chaotic and spooky at the same time. Like this is what used to be a mine, and then and the dwarves, the uh, under dwarves, they carved out most like a big hall and staging areas. But this also used to be in ancient times, like deep. There's there's sections that that go deep deep inward and because los and the clan have been taking over it there's a lot of 
redecoration. Very spooky. Lots of like dark red crystals that are just glowing to illuminate the area. Um, <clears throat> they look like flares. Um, there's there's lots of um, both men and women that are dressed all in black with like veils, veils moving forward uh, that are that are practice that are necromatic practices moving around doing things. There's enchantments. There's drawings on the wall. It's very very heavy metal looking, heavy metal satanical looking. Um, but at the same time. All these people are, are moving back and forth, trying to integrate, trying to both integrate and disassemble, in, disassemble stuff and building up a bunch of dirt technology, like doing like another ring. Um, are there, um, you said electronics. Are yes. there any, are there, by any chance, are there any nice small video cameras? Yes. I mean, yes. Just yes and absolutely. Yes and can I like help myself to one? Yeah. Do I do I need a sleight of hand or? This is free for all gear. This is your guys' stuff that you need to accomplish missions. I mean, I will acquire the grenade. You want to what? I will acquire the grenade. So... Done and done. You have a grenade. Done and done. Whatever needs you need him at any point. Also, uh, Q, because last because uh, you've been doing such a good job in uh, showing the differences. I forgot to mention at the beginning of the episode, you get um, an inspiration point. You'll get to, um, when you need it. You'll have, you just use it to re as a free reroll. Okay. Whatever. Uh, pistolero, yes. Grenade, as many as you want. <laughs> <laughs> For some strange I didn't, reason, I did require new juggling balls. <laughs> every time, every time the screen goes to pistolero, the music shifts more comedically, and it becomes brighter and not so spooky. It becomes PG thirteen every time we go to pistolero. <laughs> For some bizarre reason, I do not trust my character to take grenades. I don't know. It's some from an alternate history, but it seems like a bad idea. Perfect. Only if John was here to see that. <laughs> Maybe John is clip radar. That. Clip this. Can someone clip this, please? Hmm. Well, um, but so, but yeah, this is a perfect time to, um, I mean, to get to know a little bit, ask, ask around for people. This is free time before I move on to the next scenes. Q's out there helping with the group. In fact, Q, why don't we, you roll me a, because this is different. You don't have as much knowledge here. Roll me either survival or a history, not with advantage. Dang. If we marry Sue of a character that you got over here. Yeah, you, you, you know the place that you're like a good babysitter. You're guiding uh these the whole bunch of these new dirt people here i mean uh navigate through the woods navigate to through all the dangers that there are avoiding more owlbearers wolves shit like that well as you're doing this i'm also doing my own con and saying hey if you need forged paperwork i do it for a, a, a decent fee <laughs> absolutely with that 20 um yes that's been very persuasive and the um let's see how much gold why don't you roll me a persuasion with advantage because of that history not perception persuasion oh wrong one sorry do you really want me to roll that <laughs> i mean you're a con woman you you're gonna come out with this with like a hundred gold and they're the, the proper good and small little coins. Uh, actually, let's we need to reward that with more gold than a hundred. That's like uh, Why are you bringing it into platinum mode? Yeah, <laughs> no. I, but what's interesting is everybody pays you with like gold bars, like little thin gold. bars. Gold. Gold. <laughs> gold, right. gold press latinum. 
Yeah. So these, this is what these soldiers, every, in fact, all of you, Pistoliero, Carl, and Dominique, have been paid with not only like American dollars, but here, that shit's no, uh, no use. Here, gold. And there is tons of, like, you're paid with little gold bars that are worth Taldori money. This way you could actually use it here. So you get the equivalent of about 250 gold from, uh, from these soldiers that have been, like, you've been going back and forth, running your scams, and pff, you can't believe it. They're actually paying, like, they're paying in big, thick gold bars that are worth that much. Any, uh, call, Dominique, anything else you want to do? Um, any of those uh, fancy SWAT shields in this uh, area? Hmm. And are they any better than? <laughs> and are they any better than the one I have? And the one, well, um, they're better in that you could see through them, and they're plastic made, and they're lighter. Hmm. I see what you're going for as a. Uh, I see what you're going for. I say yes. I say yes and. Yes and. You find a, uh, roll me. Roll me. Because Kier has been missing, I need you to roll me an investigation to see if you find the SWAT shield. Oh, God, I have no, no use at this investigation thing. I have to give you, I mean, I have to be fair. I want to yes and this, but. Not yet. Maybe once more gear gets gets uh, uncrated, and and then we find a maybe once gear gets uncrated and a little bit later before we take off, you'll be able to find it. But you're looking through all a bunch of stuff. There, on you find you know there's a bunch of electronics, weapons, gear, guns, grenades, ammo, stuff like that. Dominique, anything else? That you would like? Dominique is just watching all of this um, fold out what everyone is doing. She's just like leaning up against the wall, watching, taking wanting notes. to under taking notes, sketching in her, her pad, in, in her notebook, <laughs> just to you know, figure out what the hell's going on. Why don't you roll me an insight with advantage? <clears throat> it's difficult because it's like going from Kansas to uh, um, the Wizard of Oz. Yeah, the, what, what is that? Ozland. Ozland? Is that Oz. What's called? Just Oz. Oz. It's like going from Kansas to Oz. It's strange yet familiar. Um, if you and you know science fiction, fantasy shit like that, there's runes carved into the walls that are freaking glowing magically of some sort, and these witches that are moving back and forth with a purpose and seems to be like arranging some arranging a thing in the background there's they're reassembling that same that background they're reassembling that same sort of stargate um that uh but they're they're not making their whereas before on the wall you could see where it was carved into it and then with runes a actual stargate carved in stone and runes but now they're enhancing it with electric with electronics some sort of gear and it's glowing some sort of, so and they're pre preparing it in for some way and so that's where a lot of the busyness is happening happening it looks weird there seems with a 13 i'd love to give you more insight into what's going on but that's what they're doing soldiers are just doing soldiery things going through all the gear double checking their stuff uh doing that click click thing tons of armed men and women rough looking rough looking strong weathered um dubious looking but nowhere do you see any of the head honchos but as you're Card looking more and more into as they're building 
that Stargate fade, fade into later, midnight. The Stargate is now complete. And, and moving forward is Carlos addressing all the soldiers gathered. Q, Pistolero, Carl, Dominique, Radar, everybody, all the uh, people gear gathered up. And is this where we have our break? Let's have a break have here. A break. <laughs> this is a perfect opportunity to have a break. Yes. Yes, I and. To, I need to get a sweater. I'm freezing. Yes, and. Perfect. Okay. It'll give me time to write a speech or some shit. I don't know. I just pulled that out yeah. of my ass. See you in 10. <laughs> <laughs> He might even have headphones on. Boop. We are live. Yeah, look at this. I'm blowing my nose live. How, how, mm. that'll be, do not give that. You snotty boy. All right. Welcome back. We're still waiting on Sarah. Uh, probably should have used this opportunity that we were on break to think of what I was going to say for the speech. That's what you said you were going to do. Yeah. And we believed you. <laughs> like like the fools we are. We are so gullible. Nah, I did. It's all good. And I guess uh, it'll be a little bit, let's exposition a bit and cut right back in while we wait for Sarah. Fade in. Los walks confidently up to the uh a little um, uh stone lectern to address the crowd of soldiers there in front of that circular thing all of you that made it here alive have made their first step into greatness we few explorers are the bit are the, the cream of the crop some of us didn't make it our fallen brothers we all knew what we signed up for but the reason why there's losses already is because of the arcana pansophical it shows the axe they were there again this stops here and now they're kind of pansophical sent that madman arc on the cruel to our world and infected it they're kind of pansophical stopped us from peacefully bringing our people The Arcana Pansophago, again, has come and stopped us while we try to, in, while we try to rightfully take back what was taken from us. The Arcana Pansophago must be stopped. It points to like the, on screen, on the background, there's like a projector and screen where he starts showing a map of Taldori. We're here, Whitestone Mountains. He lowers his finger. Iman, residents of the Arcana Pansophical, meddling group of magic users that have decided to poke their noses into everything and for some reason have tried to wipe us out. Well, we're back with payback time. If we don't stop them, we will not be able to survive peacefully and save their humanity and save dirt.
Here's the plan. We're going to use a couple of different shock groups spread out. We're going to use our home base here. And he points to this area in the south deep, deep below Iman, this uh, jungle area. In this land, basically like toxic waste, explosion, nuclear wasteland. But magic, it's wild, it's crazy. Nobody lives there, but we can harness it because we have the tool that we need from dirt. And he pulls out again the, the ticket, that golden ticket. This is our ticket to freedom. This is our ticket to justice. This is our ticket to revenge. He's got a ticket to ride. <laughs> he continues on with the plan. Um, home base, shock groups, we're going to spread out. But in order to take out your kind of esophago, we're going to need a, to, in, to uh, we have a plan to infiltrate it. We'll need a, a select few people to go in set up a sort of quick trap and he starts going over the plan cut to a little like a 3d modeling of at, while he voiceovers and explains the plan arcana pensophago and in cartoonish almost drawing form we need a group of people to set up a temporary uh eight uh 12 spot ring with runes and special with special gear, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, set up like basically a transportation ring. Let's make it simpler. Five. Pentagon. Fuck yeah. Five. Pentagon. Once there. Penta once there in the set in the center of uh, of the Arcana Pensophago, we'll do a quick portal. For, allow us a quick portal past their defenses. And immediately we could take over and destroy. And he points at the target. Pfft. Allura, Vesseltram. Allura's face Pfft. dominates here. Back to Carlos. This bitch is the cause of everything. She's the one that stopped us at every point. She's the one that killed my father, imprisoned my mother, destroyed dirt. It's bothering him that he can't say earth, you know, he can only say dirt here. When we kill this bitch, we're free. He starts going over the plan and a couple more, you know, and, and he turns back to the screen. All right. Listen up for a list of your names, depending on your skill sets and usefulness. Here's what we're going to need. And he starts going over instructions and uh, groups and who's going to do what. At this point, we'll cut to you guys' um, reactions and any questions that you might have. Oh, actually, yeah. And while he's doing it, he says, any questions? After a while, we'll say any questions. So we'll save that for a second. But anything, what's going through you guys' mind at the moment? Let's cut to you guys. Yeah. Dominique. Flame burn bright. Dominique's like, wow. He really doesn't like that person. <laughs> Understatement of century. <laughs> it's like I, so now she's trying to psychoanalyze him it's like wait a minute wait a minute I, I have a bigger goal than just one person and I'm thinking what trauma is this guy so I'm going through all this psycho psychoanalyzing uh, roll me a roll me a, a roll me an insight check Your your notes are in the cade. 
uh, obvious, obvious early childhood trauma, um, separation anxiety, uh, projection, and you start piecing together like to, to from the history that you've you've done your research on Los. Imagine growing up the son of the most notorious drug lord in Colombia, number one of the cartel, the Reyes cartel. And then your dad uh, gets involved with magic, and is transported somewhere, and has just disappeared, left to live, left to, that was the last of the history that you heard, and that you heard a, I heard that this guy was crazy, that uh, he's, since, since uh, childhood, he's been murdering left and right to reunite with, with his parents here in Teldore. And from all the history that you know of dirt, this place sent COVID-19 here. This place started off a chain of events that has ruined Earth. Magic got infected here. All these weird shit that you've heard over the, that dirt has happened in the last 30 years, it's due to this realm's interference. And this is where he's like, the only thing stopping us is this. If we get rid of this, the Arcana Pansophila, if we get rid of her, we, dirts, can survive. I have a question for <clears throat> Scar. I know that sounds like a weird I'm question. Not here. I know, but I have a question. Never be here. I, I have a question for Valerie, who was Scar. Was there anything um, special about the the uh, battle axe that you threw into the portal? Nope. Oh, okay. Nope, but it's something special to Los. <laughs> I mean, it has, I, I your, just... it has your name crudely, crudely like. Scratched on there like S K A R. It's just crudely scratched onto the handle. Yeah, like, it needs to come back to me, <laughs> meaning back to Scar. That's what. Oh, it'll get it back means. into Scar's back. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it'll yeah, be back. Because I, I, I was just thinking, I could I could ask Los, can I take that battle axe? If, if there was actually something special, but can I take that battle axe and get revenge with it? We'll see. But no, he's got that. <laughs> Yeah, it was he's... there was nothing special with okay. scars. She, it, she just it's like the property of is yeah. why it has her name on it. Yeah, she clearly scrolled. Yeah, exactly that. This is oh, mine, yeah. Scar. Uh, Pistolero Q. Questions, yeah. comment, what's going through your guys' is what's going on? What are you guys just thinking? He's like. Okay, who do I have to play now? The Dark Elf or the other bard? Pistolero is using a random <laughs> knife to clean out under his fingernails. As he, uh, as he starts, uh, as in a few minutes, uh, as these thoughts and while you're doing that, your, your, your group, your, your name is called out uh, uh, as, a, as a group. And Radar, too. Radar has joined our party. I'm, I'm thinking Radar is actually John, but I'm, no, I might be wrong. I literally created Radar out of thin air. And I, know, I know, but now it's like, maybe it's John. And, and, then, um, and then stupid, uh, no, not stupid. And then Froggy said, oh, please don't kill him. That's exactly what I was going to do. I was going to make him the, like the, whatever. But I, I keep him alive because of you, Froggy. Uh, no, he's not allowing you to kill off Radar. <laughs> Don't worry. He's got her chopsticks right now. She's not allowing it. Oh. Don't worry. <laughs> Don't worry. So <clears throat> um the plan is 
the plan is we need an infiltration group. Um, and on that, uh, uh, well, you know, infiltra infiltration group. <clears throat> Los is, uh, uh, Los goes to your group. You. Are you are you ready? <laughs> mid 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 mouth a uh, fool. I'm gonna choose you and your compatriots as the infiltration group. You know the Arcana Pansophago best, in and out. You know the ways in access. What do you think? Uh uh, where I will need you and your group to go into Iman, get into the Arcana Pansafa, go into this room, and he, you know, he lays out like he starts going through the like through this room here, and you know exactly which room it is, like so, so whatever open open area. You nod ahead, like yeah, yeah. Set up the quick transportation site. Allow us. And infiltrators in. You think you could do that, Q? As long as I'm not near psychic bitch, I'm good. Oh, don't worry. We've got her covered as well. <laughs> as long as you got her covered, I'm fine. Radar. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You remember me? Yes. I need you with them as well. Or any way to to set up and uh and unalarm. How do I put this? Disarm. Disarm. Devices, magical effects. Things like that that you could come across. You think you can handle that radar? Yeah, yeah. Um, don't worry. Uh, I, I, I could take, I could take care of all of that. And and um, as he's um, um, he starts. Uh, he looks over. Any questions on your on the mission that I have for your group? Meekin, build pentagram. Activate pentagram. Stand back. Yeah. Have I got it? He, he hands uh, radar. Take this, and he, he hands over like a um, a bag of stuff, uh, communication devices. These will avoid any arcana pansophical interference or, or listening devices or listening magic. We will be able to communicate through these. Um, <clears throat> Q, infiltration. You heard any rumors about in any of the people here? Mm. You want to roll for it? Yes, please. Since um, you've been interacting and kind of doubling through, one of the missions that he asked you was to was to look for uh, whatever people that aren't like that. Insight. Give me insight or perception. Oh, I was going to hit history for you. For history. History is good. You had your suspicions on one guy, and you point out. Um, um one of the un Dorgar, which are those under those uh dark dwarves that live in these these mountains. You're like that guy over there, Joseph. I don't know, something about him is not hasn't sat with you well. But you're not sure. Because a thirteen is where you ten is good, thirteen is what giving you a, a exact answer. Mm -hmm. Los looks over to him. And, my, and um, um, 
nods towards Maria and cut to, again, that woman Maria. But now, whereas before she was, not, not Maria, uh, Laura, Laura with the sh sh uh, cropped black hair and the veil, here, older version. See, si, Carlos. She walks over to this uh, Joseph tour guide does, and he like sort of like what, what, and she touches, she like grabs his, his his head, and as she's grabbing them, you can see like her uh, magical aura, a purplish and dark illuminates, and he's like, ah, and she's like, I'm seeing through his thoughts. Oh, Joseph. Oh, no. <laughs> and he, she throws him down uh, towards, tw uh, on the ground. And he's like, uh, 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 I'm sorry. Uh, and she's like, I think Alora will get in, not notice. she would never and um <clears throat> uh as as carlos is uh is is going over and look at this guy joseph kneels down on his eggs mm. radar uh pipes up like uh, pipes up and and uh just uh says what are you gonna do carlos looks over at radar I'm going to, I want this man dead. Radar. You're an important man in this mission. I asked you if you were up to it and you seemed unsure. Um, no, I, I'm very sure I could do this. I'm very sure. I could smell bullshit a mile away. Us. Sorry, we, we we didn't mean to bring the horses into the cavern. Radar? Oh, that would be horse shit, sir. Have you ever killed a man before? Yeah, I, I, I've got what it takes. I want this man dead. Boss? Boss? Close? What? Before you get rid of him, <laughs> I yes, need a time with him. What's that? Before you get rid of him, I need time with him. Laura says, what? I've already seen what it knows, all of it. There is nothing this people of mine could hide from me. So is he below rank or high rank? That's all I need to know. He is worthless to us. Okay. Bye-bye. <laughs> Radar is like timidly uh re goes over and uh you know like takes out his, his pistol and starts walking up to it. Uh walking up to this uh Dorgar. No. Do you know? And he walks, goes over to Radar and snatches the gun out of his hand. <laughs> Takes out that bullet. This bullet was manufactured in Pittsburgh, USA. Transported to Colorado. Sent over to Columbia. Gathered through us with many others. Resent back to Hollywood. Blessed and then cut through a portal to get to here. Tell Dory, this single bullet is worth more time than effort than this worthless piece of shit. This bullet is going to be used exclusively to take down Tell Dory and that bitch Alora. Raider, do you want my axe? <laughs> no. 
tell you. Show me you're worth this. Do it with your hands. And, uh, You hear the the camera cuts to your guys' point of view and your reactions as off screen. You could hear the the kind of gurgling and a little bit of of a uh, crying from radar. And then uh, once the noise stops, it, just, it goes on for an uncomfortable twenty seconds before the noise just stop. Use your left hand. <laughs> Good. And then, um, you have your orders, Q. Don't disappoint me. And he starts walking off and starts going to address the other people. <laughs> Radar, you surprised me. I thought you were timid. <laughs> It's it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Well, grow up a little bit, Radar. Yeah, yeah there, I have a bottle yeah. of wine on me. Uh, <laughs> of course, the bottle of wine on you. Um, uh, he takes a bottle and... Yeah, how about that? He takes out a towel and hands it right to Radar, going, you're probably going to need this. Yeah, he um, he like turns, grabs it, turns around, and starts walking away. And just, you can clearly see he's wiping his, using it to stay up and being very, very shy about it. Meanwhile, preparations are being shy, made. Though. What's that? Is he shy though? Another insight check? Yeah. Do it. <laughs> oh, we can't see shit today. <laughs> yeah. He he intentionally like um as you're like um he's got the he stalks out of the room like like you know, like puffs up his shoulder and just stalks out of the room. Uh, like as he's gonna go to check on something and just leaves leaves the room, leaving all of you there. And then some of the uh, the Vale sisters come and just off screen drag the body of this Dorgar away. Cut to you guys. What would you like to do? I have a question about this world. I'm really confused about one thing we've encountered so far. Go for it. How? There's an owl mate with a bear. One of them's a bird. One of them's a mammal. How do you get an owl bear? It's like on dirt. What came first, the chicken or the egg? So the owl flies in the back end of a bear and no, that well, the bear obviously can't Shit eggs. I it's just I don't get it. He was just walking away, joking, joking to herself still about the what came first, the chicken or the egg. I'd love to answer that, Albert, but Rado's not there. So there are supplies we had. Um their people are 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 being ready are 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 readied up. Um Another like um, um Were we told how we're getting to Emon? Yeah, yeah. So um um after a while uh uh Laura comes by uh you've interacted with her a few times before. And every time she always gives you the creeps. Uh, Black Veil just looks like a a little old lady uh, with shriveled whatever you can see past the veil is always murky and dark. You never quite place a face. You can only see like twenty five percent of her really at one time. 
Q knows that this is probably a Q knows from experience that this is like a hat of disguise type type situation. Q also knows that there's one person that could hick up the whole entire thing. That's why she said the person <laughs> as somebody else. Yeah. And um also like the the you know you know from interactions and and working with those organizations long enough that that veil uh is uh adds advantage to all charisma saving shit it's like a really cool magical anyways <clears throat> you your mission for infiltration you must disguise yourselves as them or Go in arms. Uh, go, uh, you must disguise yourself. Have as uh, going. Uh, I, it's like because of that disguise, we are not going. We cannot send you directly there. You have to take. I understand you have a carriage already. Arrange for vehicles. That would be a good, useful tool. To Use to leave to get to Iman. We will be in constant communication. You will need to get past the uh, you will need to get past, and, and she shows uh, uh, some papers, points out <clears throat> the gentleman, and it's the true. Gentlemen, you saw our last interact. You you were. Do you want the last battle that we have for you to have? No, you to have been there. Somebody else to have been there. Um. Actually, this would be a spoiler. It was actually Q there. Yes. Perfect. So you were there. You saw how it went. Do what you need. Either a border or take her on. But there will be resistance. But the tunnels are there. Out of character. Yes. Which you said the real gentleman. But are we talking about the real gentleman that was killed, that was taken, you know, away? Or is it? The me, the you, that is you. gentlemen, the you. that okay, he's talking yeah. about uh, uh the rule, uh, current ruling Veritas. gentleman, Veritas. okay, okay, because I was getting confused as one of the gentlemen, yeah, yeah, so yeah. We got bit one issue. What's that? What's that? I technically can't use Leia right now because I've made it to the point where Leia has now lost all ties to the gentleman so the only two i can use right now is maya or that new young in narissa i think it is avoid as much contact as you need but be okay. aware that thereafter they know of us the tunnels will be the best way to get to the icon up on Safago. look and she shows you there's an actual unknown tunnel system that goes below it that reaches below the arcana and you could get to it either that way and or there's areas up on the top that are also accessible but you could use the tunnels to move all over iman you just have to be careful it would with, be... go ahead so with the wookie rule do we know do we all know about the fact that the place where the tunnels started is underneath a burned down saloon. It's partially burnt down. It's not fully burnt down. There's many more areas of access, though. Uh, the map with this semi drawn out underground system that. Um, who we've infiltrated in that organization have already given us drawn 
you know, from memory what they know, this could help guide you. And um, so, does that answer your question? That you could access it from from anywhere else? Yeah. But okay. No, I'm just thinking. Did, did we have to go through that, that, or no? There's other ways. Okay. Fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The the thing is, is that we're all except for Q from dirt, and how are we going to know any of of this stuff unless? You know, it, it, it's called you uh, shut up, look pretty, and let you de lead. <laughs> you know, if she does not tell us what to do or what to expect, then she cannot blame us for what we do. And if you die, <laughs> I get to run away. So it's a win-win for me. So there are two, there is more than a few options. If you go above ground, you will need disguises, which I hear you've already have some clothing or whatever you can muster up. Well, the I don't think anybody, you, I don't think anybody from there. No, I'm oh, sorry. Go ahead. The underground will allow you to not need subterfuge. You will not need to blend into the crowd. So that is what the, that is another option. God, that you have a... a Other than Q, the, they don't know us. We don't... Q so, whips out yeah. her pile of papers going, technically I've already made your paperwork. On that note, there is some different armor if you want to blend in that is available for you as well. Your dirt clothes may not be the best to blend in with or not the choice is yours Dominique once you goes get... over sorry Dominique goes over and starts pulling out because she's got you know she's been you know scanning the crowd seeing what everybody's wearing and she picks out shit she starts because she's not shy. <laughs> also, yeah, there's another one. Here's what's interesting, though. I think you have a Catwoman-like skin suit maybe underneath that mm -hmm. provides you plus one armor. That means that because it's so skin tight and sexy that you could just put on normal clothing on top and just be like, I look fine. Well, no, but she had normal clothing on top previously. Mm -hmm. So she's just, you know, taking off that normal clothing. She doesn't care, you know, puts on the other one. Perfect. Done and done. Um, armor? What's armor? I don't wear armor. Who needs it's no It's called Under armor. armor. It's a brand. Ah, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Fine. My boxers are Under Armour. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> there is a brand called Under Armour. I know. Armor. I know. Yeah. No, I, I was I was talking to Wooster because he had the look oh. on his face like he didn't know what I was talking about. I actually have an Under Armour badge somewhere. So uh, let me let me cut in right here, and we like, and uh, let me cut in right here, and Los is addressing. We all you all have your missions, assignments. And he's, the portal starts, like, the chanting starts going up and st starts going on. We will be moving out soon. Take whatever you need. Oh, and he says, says, there are some things you should know about this land. Most electronics will not work without. He pulls out the, uh, take it again, the blessing. And he starts uh, muttering, Madre de Dios. Uh, Dales protecciones a todas estas gentes. And when he says that, the, the golden ticket glows for a second and like a little wave goes out. And the sound is the 
is the uh, THX sound of it's a THX sound that comes out of the Golden Theater. Everything here is blessed. Everything here, uh, all of the electronics, the dirt weaponry, dirt tech, has protections against um, against the anti or otherworldly magic of Taldori. <laughs> and with that, uh, he's that same ticket. He starts going through the portal. And again, this time, uh, that same um, uh, water effect goes in and starts sending squad after squad to different locations. And it stops, and you know they're sending different people. In the meantime, um, we could cut to you guys or just cut to outside. Do you guys need anything supplies-wise? Yes, you do. You need to re-roll for your uh, your shield, don't you? Okay. I was going to let him do was... his roll first. Uh, that was investigation? Yes. Anybody want to help me? <laughs> uh, I can help you if you help me. What do you need to do? I Both need of you to look find... for. Well, let's let's roll the investigation and see if it works. Here's... No, 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 no. Time out. Time out. Time out. This is where you gather everything you need. Roll for investigation with advantage. Carl is looking for a shield. Okay, I was looking for something to help with ripping my clothes just a little bit. Spandex. Oh. You absolutely, with the natural 20, yeah, you find, um, because you have a problem with it, it's just your skin, right, that changes? Yes. So you're looking only for, like, a, a quick change, which quick change clothing? Uh, just armor that comes down. So basically what the Dominique has, which gives her the plus one, would probably be what would work, because then it would change with the body. How about just uh, like a little bit of unisex, unisex armor and clothing that could work both for man and for woman? That works, but remember, I go from small to medium depending on who I'm blending. That's why I said spandex. I was thinking span, spandex yeah, yeah, or yeah, 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 like yeah, that. yeah. You find that it just it just doesn't give you the protection that you need. Because Dominique has a special thing, being okay. from Dirt Realm. That's her boon that she picked. So yes, you find some clothing that's spandex and it, it helps you sh shrink and fit down and it's it's modern enough yet modern dirt fashion yet it could pass for Haldori because you know what's here and you find exactly what you need. Carl finds what the above a 13, you get your plus one shield. Ooh. It's a SWAT style shield. It stands out though. It's legit like a SWAT style shield. And but it does have the thing so that you look through and you could like shoot if you want to through. Okay. Like, um, and it goes on my back underneath the cloak. Pistolero. See. Si. But then again, my like battle axes are probably showing too. So yeah. Do you need anything? Do you want to? Do you need anything? Do you want what? What's up with you? Eh, uh, I think I'll just pick up this ancient-looking hand cannon. Another, another, like a... Pistol. Oh, another pistol. Huh? It is, uh, you know, uh, it looks like a flintlock uh, pistol with a barrel this big. You know what? What you actually get is one of the style that is made in Taldore, in Whitestone. Because the whole thing of Whitestone is the only place... Outside uh, game game logic... Uh, the the dude uh, that found in Whitestone, um, Percy Percival von Musil or Kowalski the third, invent brought firearms for the first time here to Taldore. So this is an authentic Whitestone uh, pistol. Can can Q go? Ooh, you got one of Percival's toys. Yes. Mm -hmm. It looks Dominique. Fancy. 
Any any um gear or stuff that you uh no we already got your 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 stuff right. Well, with that, um, radar comes back and we could cut to outside. Uh, we could cut back to outside as um, you're loading up the caravan and the same caravan that was not the caravan. I keep saying caravan cart. A uh, wagon uh, that was loaded up with goods is and crates and boxes you have loaded with gear as you see fit to get to Iman um, and then covered it to make it look like you guys are just um, the merchants that you saw that were on their way to Whitestone. You're now merchants on the way to the long trek. Towards Iman through multiple cities. <laughs> so, and Radar Scott hit what uh, all his stuff that he needs as well, and it's a mixture of books on ma magical books as well as um, electronics and gears and crystals of all sorts and magical essences powders things like that while dominic sticks for phone call we'll move forward how much time do we have do we want to do a little fight yeah 30 40 minutes, minutes how much 30 to 40 right. minutes 30 to 40 minutes Maybe we start next episode with the. Well, maybe where we might start next episode with the fight. Um, yes. Let's see how you deal with this. <laughs> Cut to. You know it's it's dark. It's way it's midnight. Those portals left at midnight. So. Um, you're leaving the cart. It's early-ish morning. Uh, it's, it's, it's the witching hour as you depart with the cart full of gear on the long trek towards Iman when um, you're, you, see a, uh, you see a few um, a few horses approaching they have um they have this they're shining this light forward through some sort of magical device and you can see from the far carl uh at one of these towards morning he starts put on his glasses like i see something and it cuts to you zoom in on what appears from a distance as yeah let's keep it a mystery why don't you roll me a perception check all of us or one of us? One of you, Carl. But with the glasses, it's a 15. Okay, it's good. It's about 13. All right. Um, you could see that these are what looks to be armed guards on horseback approaching with the uh, uh, approaching from the direction uh that you need to get to through to iman probably from the same direction that that couple that you guys robbed the cart from that's they probably went to the closest um uh closest town and said hey guards <laughs> fucking here or whatever and uh you see them approaching I, i'm slightly confused are we not close to Iman right now? No, 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 no. We're we're barely leaving. It's oh, I thought we were going leaving. through the. I thought we were going through the portal. To no, Iman. not you guys. You guys oh, are taking okay. carts. You need to take the cart. Ah, Everybody okay. else is taking we, portals to where they need to go to. Uh, okay, so we're we going have, all the way across the continent. Okay. We have yeah. to make the track by foot to set up the portal at Iman for people to go there. Yeah, because right now Iman is a sanctioned city. Everybody else is taking portal both to two or three different spots, but mainly the home base, which is deep in the jungle, 
many, 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 many miles south below Iman, in the like uh, restricted zone where it's like wild magical wild magics happened so many centuries ago, millennia ago, whatever. So that's where home base is gonna be. You know, I'll show it to the map later, but it's unimportant. But no, you guys are carting, taking the cart there. On the way there, okay. You see the guards approaching, far away in the distance because it's dark and it's nighttime, and the lights are shining as they're trying to eliminate the road. Um, but you, because you've been the lookout guy, cut to you. You've been okay. there, uh, guys. Uh, there's a what looks like uh, armed guards of on uh, heading this way on this same path. We can either, uh, again, my favorite, set up an ambush. Uh, the other option is uh, pretend we're just travelers traveling. Or um, any other ideas? Um, another idea is I change into somebody important and we get through that way. That would be the pretending we're regular people. Yeah. Uh, when when you look around, uh, there is no more pistolero. There is an old <sighs> old woman sitting sitting at the at the front uh, front. <laughs> nice uh, nice twenties. Holy shit balls! <laughs> what oh, did you do? <laughs> the music shifts comedically as now out of no as from the situation was tense and the camera tilts to see the little old lady with Pistolero's voice coming out. All, all I'm thinking of is the little old woman from Howl's Moving Castle at this point. Nice. I mean that's that's a great plan. I'm yes ending this enthusiastically. Come on. Q you wanna? You could turn into something different. I was actually putting my cloak closer to myself so I could turn into Maya. Maya, okay, okay, I like it. I like she's it. about the same height. Actually, I I found out all my girls are around the same height, so it doesn't matter if I change it. To. Perfect. Per that was it was that way on purpose because you, the otherwise you know, uh, Carl and Dominique. Um. I I could like try and like hide under the stuff in the back, or you could just be like the regular muscle that's like there to protect the caravan, or to protect. Oh, the, the, these the little old ladies. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I, I I'm I'm gonna be the the guard protecting little old ladies. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So and uh, perfect, Dominic. I'm sorry. I I I that's missed right. half of the conversation. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Um, it's it's quite all right. Uh, but Dominique is more of a watching mode, Ooh. watching everything. And... Why don't you roll me a stealth too? <laughs> I mean, you know, uh... these guys aren't even going to notice us as we go by. <laughs> So um um the they they are they approach um there is a group of th of of four horses the lights start uh scanning towards you <clears throat> and you could tell they're well armored well armed crossbow on the side definitely have like the uh, white stone insignia um, they are they one hundred percent scream. We are the Whitestone Guard. We even have those long old style um, rifles uh, strapped on not cross not crossbows. Those old style rifles like flintlock rifles that are created in Whitestone. There. Um, <clears throat> oh, who the goes there? Identify yourselves. Well, if you say so, I couldn't quite hear you. The horses start going around nervously, trying to look in. You, sir, what's your business here? 
I'm pointing Me? to Carl because yeah, I'm, you're the I'm, only man here. You're surrounded by yeah. two. I'm just people. protecting these uh, ladies on their journey uh, south. I was hired to protect them. Is this so, your is this your cart? No, it's theirs. What did you say? We heard reports that there was a robbery along here. Uh, other merchants were wrong. The cart you're looking for. <laughs> <laughs> These are not the thieves you're looking for. So uh, let's see. Uh, Q, do you want to um, add to this? These are just, I mean, you're all women. It seems to be, uh, they don't think we, by insight, it doesn't seem to appear that these are the, we got reports that the, uh, that you guys might be, especially your borderline, we got reports that there was a robbery, uh, two men and four women, but have you seen anybody? Uh, I, no. I think that's why they hired me. Why don't you both roll me a uh, deception with advantage from both of you? No, no uh, we don't sell artichokes. Thirty. What the? Yeah, yeah. That's so great. I said, can I finish up saying no? And she hands over Maya's paperwork. Oh. Yes. Yeah, sorry. Uh miss. I didn't know you were with the. Uh, you must be here uh, looking for uh, Wusterion's men, right? Yes. Well, he just got take he got taken out of uh, about a day or so ago. There's been uh, uh, still bandits, and we're we're going to be in uh, going after going into uh, to root out the rest of them. But uh, it's the roads aren't safe here. Are are you going towards or away from Whitestone? We are going to go through Whitestone, heading to Liman. Okay, um, do you want an escort? That's the long way to go. Actually, yes. I would love an escort. Okay, you heard him, boys. Let's go. The moment the attention turns, there's a, that, uh, that a long cigarette tube. In it. You know what I didn't do? I didn't, radar is underneath with Dominique. Just like hiding as well from from these, I forgot about radar. So why would me... I be hiding? You stealthed. I was watching. I was taking I everything see. in. I was quiet, but I I mean, if I was stealthy. Yeah, uh, yeah I'm sorry. It's because uh, because uh, you said that you weren't there for part of the conference. I'm like, oh, you know what? You're probably just gonna stealth anyway. So that's why I had you roll stealth. So you're, oh, okay. You helped you and Radar hide, but at the same time, you're still watching because you rolled so well that you not only did you help uh, Radar hide, but you're also like peering through, like you know, like on occasion, your head will pop out through the window, and 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 you're unobs. You can observe while still being hidden, and Radar is there with you as you travel along, being escorted by the Whitestone guards. <laughs> <laughs> through Whitestone towards Iman. See, 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 Q's actually enjoying herself right now. <laughs> oh, so she's man. now got other babysitters to watch the to watch the children. <laughs> Perfect. Oh my goodness, that worked. That's working well. So, um, you approach, um. Uh, <laughs> it's only a few hours because of the card and the escort. Why don't you all? No, there's what? What would? You... There's nothing to roll. It it goes pretty uneventful for the next few hours as day morning breaks, and um, they're ahead of you enough, providing enough like speed that you guys can go full speed and get to Iman without having to be careful. And there's several feet you could talk amongst yourself. As you start coming towards uh, the city of Whitestone, but as well as we're approaching, uh, what's going on with you guys? 
Dominique, what's going through your head? Um, how long were we, you know, traveling? Let's say three hours. She took a nap. <laughs> She's like, we got guards. I don't have to worry. Grab something to eat, you know, on the back. Because, you know, she Perfect. made sure there was food. She's, uh, she hands some to Radar. She's, you know, he just chilling. Not really paying attention to the passing by. Just chillaxing. Radar is there, takes the food, and he seems lost in thought. Q, um, Pistoliero, and Carl. What's... <laughs> Let's start with Pistoliero. Uh, when, when they make it into the town and the guards leave, in, in a, uh, it, when people just are not paying attention, the disguise has disappeared. And he's it's, 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 it's sitting on the car. Ah, mon dieu. The town, it reminds me of Barry. <laughs> Carl and uh, Q? During the journey, I was keeping my mock lookout, just, hey, we have guards, but still got to keep a lookout. These guys hired me to protect them. As we're approaching, why don't you roll me a perception check with advantage because you get the glasses. Um, 20. 20. Um, you see a lot of, like, activity. Brought you, like, uh, armed, other squads of armed men leaving Whitestone towards the mountains. It's almost like they're making a mad dash towards um where towards where you all just came from. Um and you see the hurry and anxiety of almost like the a bunch of guards on the roads now crossing passing and and uh as they're along the way so there's at least six or seven times that you run across more and more uh guards in a hurry on horseback or heading towards the mountain q what's going on with you uh q is checking her paperwork um and making sure she has the right career for her cohorts just in case uh <laughs> they get you have do you have that skill, uh, forgery? I do have forgery, and I have false, ident uh, false uh, identity. What's false identity do? Oh, that I don't, that's for you, though, right? Yeah. Why don't you click on false identity so we can see what it does. All right. Well, still, roll me some forgery, then, and I'm going to give you advantage on this, because... They didn't need it. You get it. You did not need it. Good. Um, paperwork, backup paperwork is created for uh, your characters, and you can you you can now use whatever funny aliases you want. Uh, Pietro, Carl, Car Carl with a C. No. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I had to get that one in there. Um, I'm going to suggest to Radar that um, he uh, contacts are the base we've left and let them know that there's a whole bunch of guards on the way? Yeah, that's a good idea. And uh, he starts uh, he starts texting into uh, he, he starts texting into like a little uh, phone. Actually, it's the future. It's 30 years in the future. Uh, he st he, he he starts communicating it via encryption uh, texting version on some sort of machine taken care of and starts making those plans. As you enter into Whitestone, a hustle and bustle, it seems to be some sort of celebration um, being planned. There's a, there's a, <laughs> there seems to be some sort of celebration being planned. There's some local um, Arcana Pansafago. Heroes off in the distance, 
um, being celebrated. Um, but you're here in town. You're here in town, disguised. Nobody seems to give you too much heed as all your paperwork checks out. Anything special you'd like to do in town before we call this episode over? Yeah, I would like to go buy, buy some palm. Uh, um, maybe no, baguette or a croissant? As you approach, um, the people are in a celebratory mood. They're having, there's tons of food to be had. And um, there's a few, you have a few. Some of you have a few gold coins to exchange out. Actually, how would you like to pay? I wouldn't. Oh, you just roll me, roll me, a, a, a roll me with advantage a, a sleight of hand. Perfect. As everybody's in the mood, you're like, this looks good. This looks good. You, you come back with like <laughs> munchies. And it like looks like people are having a celebratory time, and as that's happening, all I can picture, Carlos, is he comes back with this paper bag. There's always a baguette sticking out at the top of it, <laughs> and in the background, it's the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> <laughs> he did say it looked like Paris. <laughs> And there it is. And with that, uh, we'll fade out and we'll call this episode um, over. So. Oh. Back to Bantam mode, eh? Back to Bantam mode. By the fridge to control. There it is. Welcome back to Whitestone. Mm. As you're passing through. All right. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Uh for the interruption in the in the middle of that it's quite all um, right my my son had a car accident <gasps> oh no no i hope so, it's okay. too serious no they're they're fine they're fine it's just a little fender bender but he's never really had a um first uh, time huh an accident with the snow mm. so he sent me picture a picture. It's not that big a deal. He was more shaken. It, it's you know, it's like take your time. It's the weather's not the greatest. But he's like, well, what do I do? Do I call the insurance? It's like I will look at it when you get home. Just come home. <laughs> we'll figure it out. But come home, <laughs> right home. Oh, it was a single Don't car accident. About my Starbucks. Single car accident, or did you? It wasn't a collision Single with somebody car. else. Oh, okay. Single car. He ended up hitting a, a light pole or a in in a parking lot. So it thank God it was not out on the road, you know, and other people were involved. But little fender bender. That's all. They're always scary, but yeah. Thank goodness everything's okay. Very <sighs> icy here. Yes. Yeah, that I've been. That's why I've avoided driving this entire time, right now. Because I'm like, I can't afford a wreck of any sort. I, uh, I've moving. avoided driving my entire life, so there you go. We're moving. We can't afford to have a fender bender. Yeah, yeah. Well, oh. ooh, that's a good question. Will radar this? Betray us. <laughs> Redard, Stop the giving ideas. Stop giving ideas to the DM. I'm still thinking <laughs> radar might be John. <laughs> um, so I had what did you think of that scene with Carlos and Radar? Just dark. But well, I also that's... got the reference. I didn't get the reference. The bullet but... one. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> it's from the movie R R R. Yeah, I saw it. It was good. It's uh, so good, isn't good. it? 
uh, um, most of the movie is uh, so bad it's good. It, our, it, our, it's our, it's it's so here. corny that it's uh, yeah. it, it's enjoyable watch. I watched it my with my brother and we were like laughing like two and a half hours out of that out of the three hours and the rest of it we were <laughs> we were just <laughs> catching breath. It's so good. It's so so R R R R R R is an India blockbuster movie. Yeah. Movie. Uh, two L- like years ago. XXX can... but different letter. Just yeah, search you can it watch on, it Netflix. on Netflix. <laughs> you can watch it on, on, on Netflix and um uh, it's cool because all right. So the big deal about this is is it, it stars the number one actor in Bollywood movie and the number one actor in Bollywood in tell the other Bollywood theater. So uh, they said I'm too expensive. You can never have me a, a me. I'm always the main lead. You can't have me and him at in the same movie. And said, oh yeah. Not only are we going to have the two biggest stars in the same movie, we're going to have the number one director. So all of their initials are start with the letter R. So that's why the movie is called R, R, R. It's like, oh, oh, uh, do you know why there is a third R? Because because the bad guy is Ray Stevenson. (laughs) So anyways, uh, late Ray Stevenson, by the way. Nice, nice. It's a great movie. Um, I made a reference to it. Yes, thank you yeah. for noticing that. And he has poor radar. Um, since I couldn't kill him, I think I'd just torture him and make Carlos a little bit meaner in your guys' eyes. So he served that. Thank you. Uh, so, Froggy, that was my remark to you. I was going to torture radar with that. Ah, uh, there's also one gripe I have about that movie is that the bad guys are just too weak. <laughs> they they're just pushovers. Uh, I it's, I was it's a true Bollywood that. movie. Yeah, it's a true Bollywood movie, and they use their CGI not to enhance like Superman action like how we do. They use their action for to overdo the emotion of a scene. Yeah, like, they oh. go way over. <laughs> it's like oh, I love you so much that boom, 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 CGI love fest of like oh, I'm so strong that. CGI best of him being super strong and ridiculous yeah. over the top. It's beautiful. But man, is it a long movie. <laughs> Damn. I wanted to get a little bit further on the story, but now you guys get into the fun part. What do you think of the mission so far? How you guys want to do it? Actually, whatever. We'll figure that out next episode. Thank you for playing. I hope you had some fun. There was no fighting, unfortunately. It, uh, it's kind of interesting. Uh, I was talking with somebody yesterday, and they mentioned a show that I, I think is British. I don't know if any of you guys have heard of it. Eight out of ten cats does countdown. No, haven't heard of it. Okay. It seems to be a... Well, I, I was going to say British version of whose line is it anyway, except that was British to start with. Uh, oh, well. Okay. <sighs> Bronx Scanner asks, where are we in the story circle? We're, we're at the need. We no, just have heard of it. Huh? Architect, Architect has heard of it. Appeared, has, has, uh, has seen it. And he says, or they say, it's awesome. Which one? Eight out of ten cats does countdown. Oh, it's hosted by Jimmy Carr. Ooh, I have to there's, see this. Well, there's 24 seasons of it, so where can I catch it? Uh, I believe it's on Channel Four. <laughs> I don't think yeah, it's. Uh, it might be you. You'll yeah. It's on, it, some it of might it also be on YouTube, Netflix. Yeah. Oh, and YouTube, yeah. Done All done. of it on YouTube. Okay, I'm gonna be watching those. Well, I think it's time then. I think it's time then to go watch some <laughs> eight out of ten cats dust counter. You know what goes <laughs> good with that? Some nachos. It's time no. to say good night. With we'll be back. No, what's better than some nachos with it? Uh, bonus nachos. Bonus nachos, everyone. <laughs> bonus nachos, everybody. 
We'll be back. <laughs>